Now it might seem obvious, but at some point when you're doing cold outbound, you will have to automate your cold email steps. So what does that look like? Well, it looks a little bit like this. When you're trying to scale, when you're trying to get more replies and a higher reply rate, you are going to need to stop doing things manually. Here's how you can do that. So within Lemnist, what you do is you come to your email campaign. This is the final version. This is the finished product you'll see here. Two versions of step one, which is the first email, a waiting time, which is three days in this case, a first follow-up, which has an embedded video. You've also got links. And if I come back to the first one, you also have examples of links here. Uh, you then have another email, which is step three. You have an embedded image, which is also personalized. You can see here that will fill in the first name for every single lead, which is in your sequence. You then have a LinkedIn step. And then you have a final email, which is normally the breakup email. So this was just a test that I added in. You can delete them. You can add them. That's what we're going to look at today. How to add email steps in your Lemlist campaign. Let's go to the start then. If we want to create our campaign, then what we do is we come to Lemlist. We click create campaign. You can either write it here, but we're going to choose to do it manually this time. You click create manually and you have all of these options. We're going to click on automated step email. And here, look, you can see you have the email step. Now here's where we can write our copy, whatever you would like. Here's where we write our subject line, little tip here, lowercase two words that will help you with your open rates. And let's just say we want to add uh, some emails that we add here. You can add any of the email steps and you can even within Lemnist do multi-sender. So I can select all of these different emails and Lemnist will randomly choose any of them to send the emails from. It improves my deliverability. It means I can send a higher volume of emails without getting banned. There you go. So once you've set that up, you can come here, you can add personalization. You can add the custom variables, for example, so you don't have to fill in the first name of every single person you reach out to. All of this here, company name and so on, as well as liquid syntax. It will allow you a higher level of personalization. This here is an example of liquid syntax where it will randomly choose one of these options to send in the email without you having to choose. It will just do it automatically for you. Then what you can do. So there's just an example of how you can set up the first email step. If you want to add a follow up, you just come here, click the plus here. It will automatically add a waiting time. You can adjust it. Let's say we wait for three days and then we send what? We send our follow-up. Then if you want to carry on, let's say you want to send someone a LinkedIn invitation. You want to connect with them. Well, what you need to do is come here, make sure that you connect the Lemlist account, which has the LinkedIn profile associated with it. And there you go. You've just automated a LinkedIn step so you don't have to go along manually. There's how you can build a campaign, adding an email step just like that. And as well, you can have various other options here. All of these are automated. We won't focus on these right now, but you can, of course, add a manual task. You can add a calling task, a calling step. You can add advanced conditions, but just for now, we'll focus on the email step. If I come back to the example here, let's look at what we can add. So, like I said, we can add A-B testing. All you need to do is click on the three dots here on the side, click A-B test this step. We can fill it in to copy exactly what we've got here and then we can test which one works better. What are we testing? We're testing which has the better open rate, which is the better reply rate, which has the better click through rate, and so on. So this allows you to get to the best level of positive replies as quickly as possible without having to trial and error. Lots of different campaigns. You can just do it straight away from the same place. Here I've used the example of the subject line. So version A has a subject line, version B doesn't. And you can test in the report section which one has the better reply rate, open rate, click through rates, and so on. Next, what do we have? Well, if you want to add a link, so here we have a link you can see here. Here's the sign up link. All you have to do is click on edit here. You can see here what we have is the link here and the text associated with it and the fact that it's opening in a new tab. A little tip, I would always say open in a new tab because people don't like to leave. You don't want them to leave their email, for example, their Gmail. That might be quite annoying. You want them to click and it open in a new tab. How do you do that? Well, all you do, let's say we're adding a link here. You just click this section here or you can use command K and there you go. It pops up ready for you to add the URL in here. And that's what just exactly what I did here to this step. And if I click on it here, it takes me to the sign up for. There you go. Next, what we have is the multi sender we touched on briefly. You can have as many different emails as you would like and Lemlist will automatically choose one to send. Now, the reason that's important is because you don't want to get banned by sending too many emails, particularly when things are getting more strict in the world of volume and in the world of spam reports. You don't want to be sending too many more than 25, 30 emails per day per account. As long as soon as you start going over that, you start getting marked as spam. You start being seen by algorithms as spam. So this allows you to avoid that. It allows you to send, let's say, five email addresses 
messages from five email addresses, you can send 20 emails per day. That's 100 per day. Doing that from one email account is likely going to get you banned sooner rather than later. Next, what do we have? So here, if I move on to the follow-up email, I've added in this here at Loom Embed. So it's an embedded GIF, essentially. And if you click on this, it takes you directly to a video. So this is a link, essentially. It's not the video. It will take you to Loom to watch the video. How do you do that? Well, this is the actual video here. All you have to do to embed it within Lemlist is click Share, Embed, Copy GIF Thumbnail. You come back here and I'll do it just in this test campaign here. Let's say I'm in this email here and I click Command V. There you go, it will load. What you can do is you can click delete and then you can click undo and it will refresh there as an animated GIF. That's important because the CTR on an animated GIF is extremely high. Industry average is roughly anywhere between sort of two to 5% for click-through rate, depending on the image, depending on the target audience. This actually gets 25%. Now let me show you here, just because I know it's a high number. If I go on the uh, analytics and statistics from this campaign, there you go. This entire campaign got 26.28% click-through rates, which is extremely high. So this was actually the whole point of this campaign was to get clicks. It wasn't to get replies. It was just to get clicks and I'll prove it here. There you go. Step two is the actual email that I sent. I just duplicated this campaign. So there you go. It does work. Back here, there you go then. So there's a very nice way that within Lemons you can embed an animated GIF and that will increase the click-through rates that you get for your campaigns if that was what you would desire. And I think that's a good idea for you to do. And then if we move on to the final email here, you can see there's an image. So here I've added more links. I've added a couple of links that you can see, a bit of value. And I've also added this here, which is a personalized image. You can see the email behind. It's just a jokey breakup email. This section here is actually personalized to every single person that will receive the email. It will automatically put their first name in there. So you won't have to change it. And it means that you can do things at scale by having a personalized image from within Lemlist. All you have to do is edit the image. And within Lemlist, you can edit all of the different factors. But again, that's for another video. If you would like to see that, do let me know in the comments and I will link the video to you. Finally, just the LinkedIn steps. So we are talking about cold email steps here. You can create a multi-channel campaign from within Lemlist with emails and LinkedIn steps. And that's about 35 to 40% more effective at generating replies instead of just having a single channel campaign. So if you wanted to, you can just click the plus and add any of these steps here. So there you go. The last thing, let's say we want to create some templates. So let me go on this here. I will create a template here. Let's say tal test. Here you go. Tal email template, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, just to make it nice and easy. Let's go back here. And if we add an email step to our campaign, all we need to do is click templates. And then we come along here, find ours, use this template and bingo, it's inserted it directly for you. Now that means anyone in the team can create a template and all it takes is for someone to choose the template, click on it and it automatically fills it in. They're ready to go. So there's an insight into how to add cold email steps into your Lemlist campaign, plus a few other things. If you'd like to try it for yourself, click the link in the description below to duplicate a campaign and let me know if you have any questions in the comments.